so we're out and about. There is life beyond the chair. Keeping it tuned, YT is out. And uh, yeah, here's my thoughts on transfer deadline day. How fucking shit was that? If anyone noticed, or if anyone has actually um, realized that this is a copy and paste from last uh, the last window where we uh, we signed Joe Willock on loan and we was heavily linked with Hamza Chowdhury from Leicester and uh, you look at this window especially last night being the main one uh, very heavily linked with Hamza Chowdhury once again We also brought in Joe Willock. So we signed Joe Willock twice in the last two windows now. And Hamza Chowdhury has been heavily linked with us in both both times. So yeah, it's exactly copy and paste from the last window. See Bruce needs to clear off. He really does. I mean he says that he'll be banging on the door asking for money to spend or how much to spend. Uh, that clearly didn't happen, the lights were off. Whether the club could actually pay for the um, electricity bill, who knows. But uh, yeah, very noisy traffic. Um, everyone was home, No, there was no business. I think we all pretty much knew uh, exactly what was gonna happen there. That we, that we were never gonna bring anyone in. So, uh, do you agree that Willock is our only sign in this window? Or would you, uh, well in my view, I would say that he is a last window buy. Because we had him last, last season. I mean, we had him in January, but, um, you know, we are... Uh, we just really made his deal permanent, that's all. Yes, he went back to Arsenal. Yes, he played a bit of pre-season for them. Like 46, 48 minutes for them or something like that. But in my eyes, he's, he was a last, last window purchase. So taking that into account, we have literally signed no one uh, in this window for the entire summer and the amount of players yes okay there was a load of youth players but the amount of players that have gone out on loan some that could have even have made it into the first team i mean you had tom allen go bang on uh, 11 o'clock last night it's oh, shocking shocking and they it seems to be going to scottish league i mean no disrespect to the Scottish leagues. I mean, they've got some great teams, but you'd think that these players would deserve League One in England or Championship or even further abroad, maybe, because they're going to get more of a challenge there. I mean, it's kind of a piss take now that um, Matty Longstaff has... Uh, gone to Aberdeen when we could have uh, used him in the first team, but that obviously isn't going to happen. It's, it's an absolute joke at the club. Are we going to bring anyone in in January? Probably not. Does Steve Bruce need to go? Yes, he does. <laughs> it's as bright as day that Steve Bruce needs to go. Mike Ashley needs to go. Lee Charnley needs to go. This entire club needs a huge overhaul. And I think I think we can all pretty much agree that um, with ASM, he is definitely going to want away either in January or at the end of the season. Because uh, he's, he stated himself that he wants uh, the club to improve in terms of signings. And he doesn't want to be fighting relegation every single season. Well, got bad news for you, buddy. 
we're going to be fighting relegation this season. We seriously are. And obviously with no improvements. I mean, we've got you coming out and apologising to all the fans for what happened against Southampton. Mate, seriously, you did not have to apologise for anything. It is Steve Bruce and his awful five at the back shit tactics that has to be apologising. He needs to be the one that apologises. And he needs to be the one that takes the blame for himself instead of blaming it on, on, on others. It is really disgusting. It really is. Um, I mean, I, I, I don't know what your thoughts are, but I'm, I'm really annoyed with that window. Really, really annoyed. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, what did you guys think of the, of the, of the window? Or deadline day? Are you, or is, do you think Steve Bruce is happy with the squad he's got? Because I certainly, well, I think he is happy because he didn't bring no one in, but I certainly am not happy about it. Um, are you happy with it? Uh, are you happy with who we've got? Knowing that Callum Wilson is going to be out for what is been predicted as roughly around a month he's going to be out for, so that's that's not a good sign. Uh, there's, there's four more to fix right there because we've got no other goal scorer. Uh, Tottenham last night released, well, agreed mutual termination of Serge Aurier's contract. Uh, I jumped straight on that with a tweet directly to Newcastle saying uh, that we need that. Why not go get Serge Aurier? He's a free. You're going to like a freebie, but they're still tight asses. You ain't going to see that happen. And I, I, to be honest, I don't think Serge Aurier would want to come to us. I mean, can you really name anyone that would really want to come to us when you've got a god-awful manager like Steve Bruce in charge? Uh, oh, I mean, oh, I don't know. It's, just, it's, it's really, really horrible. Can't stand the bloke. Never wanted him in the first place. Still don't want him. Oh, Steve Bruce just really needs to go. So, uh, word of the wires, cover your ears if you don't like uh, extremely bad language or language of a C word kind. But uh, Mike Ashley, you're a cunt. Lee Charnley, you're a cunt. And Steve Bruce, you're a spineless coward that can't even bash down the door of the chairman and demand transfers. And you are also a cunt. Get out of our fucking club. And never, ever fucking come back. Seriously, piss off back to Sunderland. Or as soon as you like going to rival teams. You've had Sunderland. You've had Newcastle. Go try your luck at Middlesbrough. Piss everyone else even more. So, uh, yeah. Uh, if you liked what you've seen. And you've seen a, an out of the bat with keeping it tuned. All you gotta do is uh, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. I'm close to 70 subscribers. Uh, it'd be great to hit that target. Uh, I may do some more out and abouts, you never know. Uh, feels good to get out and about. And uh, yeah, I'll be on uh, John Sinclair's channel tonight to give my give also my views on how the window went. And that's bound to be a, a heated a uh, heated conversation, so uh, make sure you tune into that. Uh, big shout out to John Sinclair, uh, big shout out to the Tomb Review Paul, PD Proudlock, uh, Baza from the uh, World of Sport, all the four horsemen, epic guys, brilliant, uh, brilliant content as always. So, uh, yeah, what more is there to say? Bruce out. And also what I forgot to mention is uh, tomorrow I will be taking the piss. There will be a new video out tomorrow as well as um, I will be interviewing the man, the myth, the cabbage himself, Steve Bruce, in my own little personal take. So uh, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments and I'll uh, get Steve Bruce to answer them. 
and uh, yeah make sure they're in there today because I will be recording tomorrow uh, I don't really like doing videos every single day but I wanted to do one today and tomorrow uh, I already had this one planned for tomorrow um, I'm just gonna be full be a full for for this week as there's not really any Newcastle games happening because of all the international and I don't really like uh, doing videos on the internationals so uh, yeah make sure you tune in tomorrow like subscribe and I'll see you later take care